Just a quick one before we start guys, we are on Patreon as Blend the Bros together with Josh and amazing stuff is coming on November so don't miss it. Many thanks to every single person who supports us and you know these guys are incredible so thank you so much. We could have some terminal in here with you know like decals or something like uh, let me show you. Just apply some color to it very quickly so some mud I mean and that was actually cool mud. Um, something different here. Oh, this one is nice. So maybe we could uh, we could run this one here. So so like this, this, and this. And uh, where is it? Copy. There you go. That's sexy. Now uh, here. Select this one here. Make it a little bit more silverish. And Bob Jonko. This could be also silverish, you know, just just saying. Right? Same with this one, to be honest. There we go. And we could just decal it up a little bit. So grab some maybe I a uh, pad in here or something. Where is this decal pack that we created with Josh? There's a keypad on it somewhere. No, this one. This one. Was it? No. There's one more. Where is it? I think is it. No, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. This one? Oh, this is, this is the new one that comes in on November, guys. Let me show you. This is a November Patreon uh, pack, which is gonna be badass. November Patreon is gonna be amazing. So if you if you're not on our Patreon, you're doing it wrong. Plain and simple. Look at this baby. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here on top, uh, let's go blend blend the bros style, shall we? Uh, let's let's decal it up with blend the bros decals because we can. We could have some vents on top here, uh, the sexy ones, right? And project and adjust and copy. Awesome. And uh, here on the side. Uh, let me see this. We could have some vents. So either here. Right. Or on the bottom. In fact, on the bottom would be better. So uh, let's, let's adjust it to the bottom. So here. And let's flip it to the other side. So the light is in front. And... You know project boom and I think this is subset so we can change the color of this one no we can't this is a simple decal fair enough so there we go and here in the back we could do something as well so uh, this needs weighted normals perfect and let me see this mm, we could have some powers in here at the back, like a big panel covering the machinery or something. So project and just peachy, peachy. Uh, on the bottom here, we could some have some vents as well. So let's go to vents. We could grab this one. Yeah. And let's grab the lights at the bottom. So D and adjust. Do do do. Come on. Why it doesn't want to scroll? Are you serious right now? Oh, it's applied. Oh, my bad. Uh, didn't mean to apply this uh, one more time. So scale this in a little bit and. J 
just and then project boom all right pg this one also should be running weighted normals because there's some shading issue also this should not be sharpened because it's gonna cause shading problems and the reason for it is because we're running uh, bevels on marked edges right so okay here we could have something fun so we could get uh, some shika. Uh, this will do. In fact, this will not do. This would do in here, but smaller. This is a bit too vulgar. Um, or maybe somewhere here. Mm. Yep, project, boom. And let's just make it darker. Or in fact black and adjust it a little bit black maybe it's a little bit too crazy can like charcoal something S to the other side and flip you to flip the, the text the correct way let's drop some uh, bolts or whatnot in here so um, maybe on this part okay so what we're gonna do is go to our where's our rifle pack that's what i want to know um i think this one e yes i think so this will do and you know make a small bolt here create a really tiny one and go to side view orthographic and then Q, mesh tools, and radial array. Boom, done. And project, and to the other side, done. PG, and in the bottom here somewhere we could have something as well. I don't know, something, something. So let's see what we have. This will do, because why not? Although two vents gonna look kinda goofy. Um, Two vents gonna look kind of goofy, so maybe not vents, maybe something else. This will kind of look cool, to be honest. Um, we could have something like this in here, you know. Um, smaller, maybe, and uh, vertical, and you know, kind of like here, like this. And we could array this uh, twice and project it and there we go and copy to the other side and we're done and then we could have some bolts in here as well so very quickly very quickly or some kind of exhaust whatnot um something like that i don't know what it is but could be interesting in here right double click project and adjust and boom and there you go finished a really simple kind of a generator in what 40 minutes with decals and textures and everything and that's how you guys uh, break the box basically so it is a box but not really it's all about playing with shapes yeah so hopefully hope you found it useful and fun Thanks for watching. As usual, links to all the add-ons in the video description. Hardobs, box cutter, machine tools, decal machine, all, all the usual suspects responsible for the awesomeness of hard surface, right? So get them, or I will get you. Uh, let me just uh, drop this down. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's delete it. I don't like this flatness of this surface in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply insert this bugger, right? And just extrude it down a little bit. So there's like a stand in here. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a, um, what do you call this thing? A chamfer on it. Not a bevel, but a chamfer. There we go. And also another chamfer. I might run around. Oh, this is going to be a bit tricky though. Yeah. This is going to be a bit tricky. 
Fine, I'll skip this chamfer here. Although we could run a chamfer on top here, you know, this one could be a chamfer here. Let me see this. So run a chamfer all the way around this shape here. Right, so chamfer, beautiful. Okay, perfect. All right then. So let me save this and now let's grab a floor. Uh, we're gonna quickly render this bugger. So GZ and drop it down and scale to extrude it and uh, the modifier and solidify, bring it down so we can see the floor. Alt M, add material. This one will do because why not? We could add some, you know, flooring, but who cares? And um we could actually play with hops light you know just why not i don't know if it's gonna be any good i usually don't use them uh because confusion um uh, wait 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 i need to be in this scene here and in fact you know what in cycles you don't really need that so we're gonna let's make it posh shall we let's make it posh um let's make it posh so uh, let's grab a circle and let's make it hundreds, you know, uh, verts, yeah, and face and extrude it down. And what we're gonna do is simply copy this color and remove this one and simply switch it to um, a circular plane because reasons. And now we need to place it really close underneath perfect right now let's gonna grab a camera and lock to view and where is it not lock to view i mean camera smart cam to view there we go that's what i wanted whoa Let's make this ground a bit more reflective. So we're gonna get some reflections from this machinery and maybe make it a little bit, you know, sort of more on the floor. So we're gonna get some cool reflections on the bottom. It's gonna look pretty cool. Let's unlock this from the view. Come on. Unlock this from the view, good. And let's go to Eevee for a second, okay, and in EV, we could actually render this in EV. Um, it's a little bit dark though, make it a bit brighter. But if we render this in EV, we would need to play with volumetrics and stuff, and I quite frankly can't be bothered. So uh, let's make this bigger S Shift C to make this bigger. Okay, and um, let's select these. Let's select these. Okay and easy all right boom right and sharpen okay and what on earth is happening here three to this unmark this and these are double verts in here um still double verts somewhere here right what is going on in here uh why there are double verts in here? That is so weird. All oh, right, because correct, it's a yes. Never mind, I'm stupid. I forgot it was a thick floor. I was like, what the hell? Anyway, <clears throat> um, uh, lighting. Where is my lighting? So let's go to world and shader editor world. And let me rotate my abandoned whatever. Abandoned distillery. And it's not really that. It's a. Uh, this would be interesting, but if I did this, I would need a. I would need a reflector on the other side because now light comes from this side. So I need a reflector on this side to be able to reflect light back. 
at this device. So um, RX90 and RZ, boom, make it larger, add the material, make sure it's not metallic, can be rough and, you know, bump the brightness up so you can reflect back the light into that object. So now you see now we're gaining all this, uh, this lighting that actually comes from there from this direction bounces back to the object so let's bring it closer and R, uh, rz and you know bounce it back rx and do something like this now we need to make sure whether where is the lighting in a way uh, so let's go to uh film and transparent and see where the hell is lighting coming from lighting is coming from over there which is perfect so this should be rotated as such Okay. Let me see this. Yeah, this should work. So that's fine. All right. So let's go to cycles and see how we're looking. We are looking pretty peachy. Well, I said we're looking pretty peachy. Uh, this could be a little bit more reflective just for fun. So let's go to uh, materials and in fact what we could do is grab a clear coat and add a little bit of clear coat roughness but not too much and this should do so and let's see this could be darker you know this could be interesting it was darker or very dark how how would this look this is pretty cool as well this clear coat here is a little bit not rough enough so it reflects a little bit too much of an environment in the back so this could be interesting you see a little bit dark and then we could go to photographer and lift the exposure a little bit photographer is a little add-on that i bloody love um i got links to it in the description as well so if you want to check it out go for it because it's bloody amazing i bloody love it um so dimensions 25 60 114 uh, 14 1440 and uh, samples should be somewhere around 250 compositing always the same so image the noise glare and composite so these are my settings make sure it's you you, you select use notes and you need to turn on the, the noising data otherwise this will not work and with this one turned on the cycles should take you know really I should render it in a jiffy so it should be really quick performance important 248 for me 248 but you know i got a strong graphic card so if you know you get something um less crazy then maybe play with the numbers but um these are my settings for my rendering so layout um let's save it and let's go right let's render it and see how we're looking we clock in on one hour, so probably gonna split this into two episodes because a little bit long. I can already tell you that I don't like the the angle. So I mean the compression. You see, this is probably a 50 mil camera, which distorts a little bit. So yeah, there you go, 50 mil. So we're gonna make it 135, and we're going to zoom it out. Okay, so lock the view and simply zoom. Oh, that's what's crazy. Zoom out a little, 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 little bit. There we go. Move it up a little bit and back. Okay, then aggressive, aren't we? Okay. How about this? Now the horizon is, I don't really like the horizon so low. That's the problem. Maybe let's make it, uh, let's make it 85. How oh, 85 will look. Yeah, 85 is going to be already better because, you know, 85 is less compressed and 85 is less compressed this could work it's so difficult to set the camera with a mouse which is set to like 8000 dpi because it's so you know so nippy maybe a bit of a top view would be interesting like this yeah this would be cool actually i like that oh yeah Let's try this one, shall we? The bottom is a little bit bright, you know. It's a little bit bright. Hmm. Okay, let's try this one. 
Um, let's render this. See what's gonna get. What we're we gonna get. But the 50 mil, you see, I wasn't really happy about the angle. Right, the angle was a bit too, uh, too nutty, too distorted. I really don't like this. Uh, this bleeds in here. Light bleeds. Let's see how whole this thing looks. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but this is really bright. Unfortunately, well, what I can do about it, right, is I can shift this back to something really bright. Yeah. See, this is going to fix the problem, right? Mm, yeah, this is the only way to go, basically. Just go pure white. You know, screw it. Let's go pure white. <clears throat> because I prefer to have a really bright floor rather than these bleeds on sides because it looks blood awful. You know, the difference between and this, this and this is not as striking. And I can grab a dark text in here which will pull attention back to the corner and just like a faint signature in here which is going to be okay. Usually I don't like, you know, um, I don't like bright spots in the corners because it's like in here too, like this is really bright. Ooh, I really don't like it. I don't. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it. And this is the uh, the um, maybe this is the reflector issue. As the yeah, RZ. Let's rotate it a bit. I think it's a reflector problem here on this side. Here is a reflection of the light. That's for sure. Maybe we could um, maybe we could make it completely black. Not not, not this one. I mean. And uh, not the reflector. I mean the floor. Yeah, still getting these bleeds, man. Mm. Unless we rotate the lights. So if we rotated the lights, right? Let me see this. If we rotated the light to come from there, boom. Right? And also another thing is... Um, we don't need this bloody wall. RZ. The hell we have this wall here for? There we go. Um, I forgot that we, we're shooting downwards, so we don't need the wall. So let's try this one now. Yeah. See, this would work. Now the light comes from the back. But if we shift this uh, plane here, let's, uh, let's set our camera, shall we, first. All right. And let's uh, let's leave the camera for a minute, okay? Camera view. And let's grab this plane and move it in here, R Z, and rotate it, and R X, and you know, do something like this and move it in here, okay? So it's gonna bounce the light back on. Um, come on, R Z, onto this object, okay? And this one should be rotated this way, okay? Bounce back in here. And now let's see how this is going to look. Also, this photographer is a little bit bright, but... Uh, mm, and we are in EV, not in Cycle. Cycle is going to actually pick up on this reflection. It's a little bit better, so... Uh, let's grab this plane, move it closer. But not close enough so it doesn't clip the camera, right? So, see? Somewhere here and make it bigger. And this is going to pump a lot of light back onto this one. And this one could be a little bit closer as well, so move it closer here. RZ, rotate it a bit and move it closer and make it bigger. And this should pump light back as well. Okay, now let's try to render this and see what's gonna happen. So we now have a backlit situation with, uh, with this device being completely lit by the reflectors and you see it looks pretty cool but the floor is li literally freaking white so now the only problem is the floor so now let's let's go the opposite uh, opposite way and floor is actually bloody dark the reflections is what's causing it so if we do not drop reflections right it's gonna get a little bit darker so it's clear code here we will lose the reflections though, which is, you know, not ideal. We could do something like this, which is less crazy. Mm. 
and brighten it up with photographer you know so we can gain some exposure with photographer here boom right something like that so let's try this one like when you think that setting up a scene and floor is easy you got another thing coming okay it takes time i was creating yesterday renders for a new upcoming course about which i'm gonna probably be talking tomorrow and show you some renders it took me about four and a half to five hours to create three renders because i was fiddling with lighting to perfection lighting flooring colors everything you know everything is important it's just if you messed up one thing everything goes to shit okay you, you gotta really be patient with this stuff okay don't rush it whatever you do don't rush it just take your fucking time that's the key to good renders this is still you know in my opinion like you see um the angle of of this uh, edge and this um, edge of the picture right is it's not parallel it, it bothers me because it's kind of like tilting towards towards me kind of like collapsing on me you see what i mean is you know so i'm not really crazy about it so probably what i would do is shit go back to the camera right come on and you know um lock the view and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rotate the camera a bit and uh, the other way this way okay go for a dutch angle a little bit yeah but this dutch angle what we're gonna do is you're gonna straighten up and make these two edges parallel and sort of tilt this object away from me visually okay and this small difference for me is important right if I see shit like this, even if I'm rendering for like 40 minutes, I'm gonna cancel the render and do it again until it's perfect. And this is why, you know, this kind of obsession leads to really good results, yeah? You gotta be obsessive, you know, with shit you do. You see now that looks proper, yeah, for me. That looks much better than the previous one because that's actually now um, stands still on the floor. All these parallel lines in here, right? they um the, the vertical lines they emph emphasis uh, the uh, stability okay horizontal line is peacefulness vertical line is stability okay so um that's important and this is quite bright but remember we're gonna be bringing this to photoshop and you know we're gonna make it uh, you know make it make it a bit more sexy yeah and put some colors on it put some uh, contrast into it so it cannot be too too black because you're gonna have too dark shadows you're gonna bring it to photoshop you're gonna start editing shadows and everything gonna fall apart yeah so anyway i'm gonna catch you guys when it's gonna finish rendering another thing that bothers me but it's not terrible um these edges here but you know what that's that's possible that could be argued that these are just you know sort of like um floating no, not floating but the, the um the edge of this device or whatever is on top of this casing so that's cool i don't know that'd be cool there's some shading problem in here i think cancel this go to normal view and oh shit i moved the camera um unlock from view this usually pisses me off this uh, uh there you go see i knew there's some something not right in here and uh, let me fix this old chihuahua uh what the hell happened in here man what the hell happened in here what you know what um where's this cutter um shift to alt h where is it there we go that's the one right let's uh let's detach it all right come on you bastard there we go and let's make it bigger so select just this one gz make it bigger all right and difference no really no are you taking a piss mate now let's dance let's dance i'll show you i will show you uh select this this and this and difference are you serious it must be some kind of a geo issue in here all right so let's uh you know 
let's dissolve these edges and let's combine these because reasons right let's just completely remove this from come on from the equation oh there is a really okay 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 delete fats we need to clean this mess um not mark um delete vats okay uh delete vats and delete not delete um merge um merge 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 okay merge here merge here merge these all right whoa not this one okay and select these buggers and and dissolve and why these do not want to get dissolved i have no clue uh, wait a minute what's happening here why there is a geo missing in here let's put a face in here there you go that's the one and then we can remove this perfect and we can remove this one as well good now we can probably cut it so let's select this one and this one and difference now you're talking never give up your dreams all right um render uh save reasons render okay let's see this this should be bad now <clears throat> yeah sometimes you know especially in a complicated mesh it's very difficult to see these kind of issues and sometimes you make a mistake with the mirror or click something you didn't intend to click now that looks much better and you know things happen and yeah this just looks decent i mean i could use a little bit of space in here in fact this camera could a little bit lower i'm still not happy with it so let's go back to the camera i'm not joking i'm serious i'm i'm, sh I'm gonna show you exactly how to render it without cutting anything out so you can actually see how how much time it takes for me to fiddle with stuff okay so you don't think that it happens in fucking two minutes because that's just bullshit so um if you want to get renders good renders in two minutes you know you got another thing coming so it's never gonna be good okay let me see this oh gee let's move this a little bit over there so rz let's move uh, rotate it and move it closer and then let's grab this camera and in fact, we could move this a little bit to the top. Let's remove these cutters because they're confusing me. This camera could be rotated a little bit more uh, this way, I think. Like that. Okay, and then unlock from the view. And then we can render and see. I'm still not happy with it. And I'll tell you what's the problem. You see the distance between the top and the bottom. Uh, I mean, from the top of this object to the top of the frame and bottom of the object to the bottom of the frame, it's a bit claustrophobic. From this angle, it's a bit claustrophobic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply um, lock this cam to view, right? And I'm going to just slightly move it out and up. So it's going to be a bit more flooring um from the bottom i think it's gonna be a bit better but that's just me let's see this and let's go so infinite color because this thing is amazing this one is pretty cool this one is too dark no 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 no, this one isn't bad. Mm, we could work with this one. Kind of. 
let's go to camera row let's see the levels here okay let's bring the exposure a little bit up okay and also i want to bring the shadows up perfect now let's grab my brush and uh, let's paint the uh, clarity and texture on this thing and apply this and then let's uh combine this into one and let's go to filter color effects pro let's go with pro contrast in fact you know what let's go with bleach bypass uh this is gonna make a mess in here i think of the shading because the shading is breaking yeah it's gonna mess up the shading fine let's forget about this bleach bypass let's go with the pro contrast um and pump it up a little bit that's cool remove it from the shadows that will do and let's go back uh, let's go back here and go to brilliance and warmth and let's pump some blues um, some blues in here okay that's cool now let's go to let's go to uh, uh, topaz labs and denoise let me see this mess in here let's go with strong guest mm, not ideal not ideal The shading is falling apart on this one a little bit, but nothing I can do about it. And what we could do is, you know, grab some f um, film filter on it. So this would probably solve the problem. So go here and that's not what I wanted. And go, go to Nick Collection, Color Effects Pro and Film Grain. And let's make it soft and less crazy and this should basically sh solve the problem there you go let's try to add some uh, control J and let's try to add some vignette but I don't think it's gonna hold because this is already pushing this image really far uh, but you know Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Midpoint. It's actually working. Surprisingly. Let's see this. Yeah. So let's add the mask in here and. Whoa. And remove this vignette from the lower areas because it's really dark over there. So remove it from here. this should do right yep that's perfect it's a little bit too strong maybe something like this would do cool and it's some text here and we could call it, I don't know, XT56 because reasons, because it's Wednesday, actually no, it's Sunday, so even more reasons to call it this way, and let's make it bigger, and this font needs to go because it's awful, and so... Oh, this one is actually interesting. This will do. There you go. Make it bigger and put it somewhere here. Maybe even in the middle here. And we're going to change the color of this thing to darker. So select this and pick something darker from the image. 
and make it a little bit less eye poking. So Yep, shift alt and scroll it down and um server hub whatever the hell I don't care what what it is is something cool bring it up there you go bring this down now let's make it a little bit bigger and yeah this should be somewhere else maybe even here and you know faint also narrower because it's too wide yeah this would do so there you go guys uh that's finished image hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did like i said all links to the add-ons like hard ups box cutter mesh machine decal machine and and machine tools which were used to create this image are in the video description so if you're interested go ahead and have a look thanks for watching catch you next video